Good morning, class. Today, we're going to be going over a deck profile as well as playing a game with Colossal VMAX. So we're nearing the end of our expanded stuff, but this is a deck that I really enjoy and I really feel like it kind of embodies what I like about the expanded format, which is taking new cards such as Colossal VMAX. You know, the power creep is very real, but you take these new cards and then you combine them with old cards to really give them a new feeling. So even though we know Colossal, we know Colossal from the standard format, it's just, it's a very different deck here. I mean, the idea is the same. We're gonna spam Eruption Shot, that's our primary attack. 40 damage, discard the top card of your deck, that card is an energy, does 90 more damage, and attach it to this Pokemon. But in Expanded, we can use Smooth Over Macargo. Now, if you've seen any Japanese list of Colossal, you have seen that they have this card still in their standard format. We don't, which is super unfortunate, but this is one of my favorite cards of all time. It feels like I have control over every single game where I get a Macargo out. So smooth over once during your turn, you may search your deck for a card, shuffle your deck, then put the card on top of the deck. Any card you want. So once we have our engine out, which is Macargo, as well as a Ranguru from Sword and Shield, we are able to get any card out of our deck. It's essentially a computer search without a discard if you have this combo. My favorite deck in the Ultra Prism 2 Sword and Shield era, which was a terrible format. Like, easily the two best decks in that format were ADPZ and Mill. And if you weren't playing one of those two, you had to play a deck that literally only beat those two. And some did exist, but my favorite deck was Attacking Macargo, which could technically beat both of those. But it utilizes this engine of Smooth Over, Primate Wisdom, and it feels really, really good, especially when you have an energy card in hand. If you have an energy card in hand, Primate Wisdom, the energy on top, get the card you smoothed over for so you got anything out of your deck, and you're hitting for 130 with Colossal Heat. That's probably not super surprising. So let's talk about some of the expanded pieces of this deck outside of just utilizing the Smooth Over engine. <laughs> Uh, we have a Diancy Prism Star, adds 20 damage uh, from our fighting Pokemon, so instead of hitting for 130, we can hit for 150. We also have Strong Energy, which adds 20 more damage. So now, for a single Energy, we can hit for 170, which in KO something like a Tapu Lele. Uh, Dedenne and Crobat already have weakness, so we KO them. That's a lot of damage for one Energy. Very important, too, if we can hit for... 130 plus 20 from Strong is 150, plus 20 from Diancy is 170. We KO Snorlax VMAX and we KO Eternatus VMAX. So that's a very nice combo to be able to do for a single energy. Uh, we have Stone Energy as well. We have some basic energies. I'll talk about why those are here. We play one Muscle Band. It's just an extra way to get more ma or some more damage, just like Strong Energy, just like Diancy. 20 more damage to our opponent's active focus. This can be very good against something like a Dragapult, for example, or against uh, ADP or a Garchomp Giratina. Hitting the extra 20 damage might be the difference between a two-shot and potentially having to settle for a three-shot. Uh, supporter Engine. Supporters are mostly the same. I've talked about Acerola before. One boss, one Guzma. I've messed around with two Guzma, zero boss, but I have enjoyed having the one boss. VS Seeker lets you get whichever one you want. So that's why we have the split between those two. I've talked about Ranger, talked about that. We have not talked about Karina yet. Karina is, again, one of my favorite cards. Like, there's a reason I'm bringing you this deck as the one I'm talking about. I think this card is super cool. Search your deck for a fighting Pokemon and an item card. Reveal them, put them into your hand. It feels like a Greens Exploration deck. I know Greens is any two trainer cards, this isn't that. That's not the point. The point is you get to search your deck for exactly what you want. So you're able to search for you know, your Colossals, your Diancy, and any item card. Because of that, we play an interesting item list. So without the four Karinas, we'd be playing a much different item list. But because of that, it makes cards like Professor's Letter really good. Search your deck for up to two basic energy cards, reveal them, put them into your hand. So now, our Karina can search for our VMAX and a letter. Letter gets us two energies, one to attach, one to put on top of the deck with Primate Wisdom. We're good to go. That's why we play the basic energies. Instead of some lists you see play four, four, and like maybe one of these at most, we play three basic energies so we can utilize Professor's Letter. 
and we can utilize energy retreat. Put up two basic energy cards from your discard pile into your hand. You know this card. But again, it's a nice one of because with Karina, if we use Max Potion, heal all damage from one of your Pokemon if you do discard all energies. Use Max Potion, then you can use Energy Retrieval, then you can go Attach, put the energy back on top of your deck. It's a killer combo. So they're sitting there two, three shotting your VMAX. You just go, all right, Max Potion to heal, Energy Retrieval, Attach, Primate Wisdom, hit for 130, 150, whatever you're going to hit for. So that's a pretty nice. Uh, one Enhanced Hammer, same thing with the Karina engine, the one of is usable. Discard a special energy card from one of your opponent's Pokemon. Nice in the mirror match. Nice against Garchomp Giratina. Nice against ADP. You usually prevent them from Ultimate Rang. Uh, it's nice against Ultra Necrozma, which is a very, very difficult matchup for this deck. Um, there's just a lot. There's a lot of special energy. Oh, Dragapult's another that potentially plays it. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of special energy in the format. So it's a nice one of. You can get it whenever you want. Normally wouldn't say, oh yeah, play a one of Hammer. That sounds great. But in this deck, it's a guarantee there's no coin flip. It's almost always active, and you can search for it with green. Uh, two Heavy Balls. Search your deck for a Pokemon that with a retreat cost of three or more. So this is actually pretty important. More than three, more than three. We get our Colossals, we get our Macargo. We also can get any Slugma that has three or more. So not all Slugmas have three or more. I had my video talking about the basic Pokemon you choose is super important. This is an example. It's like, uh, let's look at the Slugma. This is one of the, this is the newest Slugma. Two Retreat. It has a usable attack, but we can't search for it with Heavy Ball. So we want to use the Lost Thunder one that has three Retreat and a usable attack. So it does actually make a difference here. There are a bunch of other Slugmas, but they have two Retreat. We want to keep that Heavy Ball alive. It's just a very, very nice card to just say automatically, I'm going to get a Colossal, I'm going to get a Slugma, I'm going to get a Macargo, any of them. One Nest Ball, again, it's one of those, a one of is okay. If you can't spend, you know, cards out of your hand to grab Quick Ball, you can use Karina to grab, say, a Colossal V and a Nest Ball on turn one. Nest Ball for the Slugma, and you're good to go. And you get to keep your hand size, which is a very big deal. So that's why we play one of these, even though we have four Quick Balls. One Stretcher, we will play a 3-2 line. You probably have to get one of them back at some point. One Dojo. This is I probably the 61st card would be a second dojo, I'd say. Potentially it would be a Galarian Surfetched V. Dojo's nice. It's nice to have stadium bumps. The damage modifiers from it matter sometimes. So if I were to add a 61st card, there's a good chance it would be a second dojo over anything else. But that's some of the ideas behind the deck. Uh, turn one, you're going to try and get out a Colossal and a Slugma. You don't care about the Guru turn one. If you get it out, cool. Like, you're not going to say no to it, but it's not that super important. And then uh, turn two, you want to get the Evolve, Evolve, get out of Guru, and you get your combo going. Very important point. Anyone who's watching this is like, I don't think I like this deck. You're going to play against it. KOing this thing is one of the best things you can do against this deck. And for those of us playing the deck, being able to get out a Macargo if our opponent KOs it is a very big deal. This is probably the best card in the deck. I know that sounds weird because it's not a Macargo deck, but like this card alone lets you pull off some really, really strong plays. And so if you're playing against a Colossal deck, KOing Macargo is very good. If you're playing the Colossal deck, always try to have a plan. What am I going to do if my opponent KOs my Macargo this turn? So we're going to get into a game with the deck, and we're going to see uh, how it works. And it's, it'll show you kind of the basics of how do you set up, how does the combo work, how are you actually going to do all this stuff, etc., etc. So hopefully you enjoy the game. So we're going to get into a game here with uh, Colossal VMAX. Ideally, we want to go first, or sorry, we want to go second. That way we can get our board set up as much as possible. Start the Guru. Your opponent's playing Ether, Malol. What the heck is this? Okay. 
I don't know what we're up against. This could be an expanded ladder special. Okay. Interesting. So I wonder if they're trying to ether with the guru. You know? That that is a thing you can do. Alright. Sure, sure, sure. Gonna go ahead and heavy ball. Grab a colossal. Bench. 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 Drop that. Go ahead and comp search. One, two. Grab a second colossal just in case they can Guzma. And Crobat. Uh, no supporter doesn't feel great, but otherwise the hand is just fine. We have everything we need for next turn ready to go. Uh, Wisdom will let us see one more card. Okay. Uh, we are going to leave this in the active. If they want to Brave Blade it, that's fine. No reason to put the Float Stone down so we can get it out of the active in case for some reason they don't Brave Blade next turn. So we're off to an okay start. My opponent can take two prizes this turn. Sure, that's fine. <laughs> no big deal. Annoying, but uh, not the end of the world. There's the bait. We could put a special charge in the deck for sure. And I've seen some Colossal lists running a special charge, but it's no big deal. Uh, Shrine does not affect us. The thing we want to look out for is whether they play a Zamazenta. We do not have a tech in this list, or if they play an Aegislash, which we can beat. We do have enough basic energies to beat Aegislash. Okay. So we go here. Evolve. Put down the float. Put down that. Down this. Let's go ahead and smooth over. The stone energy on top. Uh, maybe I should have kept the bench space open, most likely. That was a misplay. We don't need the guru this turn. And eruption shot. So we got the two shot nicely set up. We got the stone energy to defend us a little more from a brave blade hit. Two's must fine. They should take out the Macargo. That is also an option. Okay. Did they get another Zashid? Ah, yes, the attachment and the elixir to the Oranguru. Okay. That's that that is in fact a thing that you can do. <laughs> uh they might whap us down next turn. I'm okay with this. Quick ball. Okay, Lele's prize. That's okay. Go grab another Colossal. See what we get. Okay, that's fine. Smooth over. Go ahead and put another energy on the top of the deck. Put another stone energy. We want to save our basic energies. Knock out. We want to save our basic energies just in case they pull out an Aegislash EX. Okay, so if they hit us next turn, we have the Ace Roller ready to go. We also have a Sycamore, so we're no longer dead drawing. We also have an energy, so now we can actually go Guzma, chase that Zashi. Which... Well, they might hit us. Okay, this is a very interesting aggro build. Sure. Okay, they're going to hit us. And they've got the order pad. All right. Wisdom to dig. Do they hit what they want? They don't. Um, They have a one card hand. I think I'm fine just taking this knockout. 
instead of going with the Ace Arola play. Yeah, I don't see a reason not to make that play. They are hyper aggressive, but there's no real reason. Um, we might want to save that. Go ahead and boulder. Take the knockout. Like, we can lose the game off of this, but like... Man, it feels unlikely. <laughs> like, they didn't support her last turn, they have one Primate Wisdom to work with. And there's the scoop, yeah. So it's super interesting list by my opponent. A very Turbo Turbo Zacian. I don't know if I'm a huge fan of it, but uh, they did get the Ether and the Turbo Patch play. So that's going to do it for Colossal. Hopefully you kind of saw the action between the Macargo, how to set up, things like that. And uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you're enjoying the deck down below, and I'll catch you all in another video.